Now, unfortunately, we do not know exactly where the courthouse stood here at Guilford Courthouse, where the battle gets its name from. But here in this area, aside from the courthouse, there would have been a total of about five or six buildings. There would have been the courthouse itself, which was a small one-room cabin. There was a little tavern nearby. There was a jail and then other miscellaneous buildings because this was also farmland. Now, something interesting historically is where the American Third Line, there was a slight rise. So you can see a slight rise down there and a slight rise here. The Guilford Courthouse would have been a little bit behind, maybe about 30, 40 yards behind the retreat road. So right now I'm gonna do a spear box session here at the location of the separate fighting. Can anyone say hello? That was a voice. So one of the main reasons I came to Gifford Courthouse National Battlefield is one, because it's my favorite battlefield in North America, but also because there are a lot of amounts of paranormal claims that come from this battlefield, especially the fact that there is a Headless Horseman entity. The Battle of Guilford Courthouse, which was fought on March 15, 1781, was the most important battle fought in the British Southern Campaign and ultimately led to the British surrender at the Battle of Yorktown. Now, the second line was made up mainly of Virginia Militia. <laughs> <laughs> Restart. Restart.